Well, welcome back to my studio. This is a fun little addition that I'm making to this painting. I showed you in the first frame the painting it was finished. Um, this was for my show in Santa Fe, and a lady walked into the gallery. She was there with some friends, and she saw this painting. She absolutely fell in love with it. And she said, boy, I overheard her telling someone, this would be absolutely perfect if there were a monarch butterfly in there. And I walked up and I said, well, I certainly could add one. And she said, oh, can you? And I said, yes, ma'am. And she said, well, if you'll add the monarch, I'll take it. Well, it was kind of a fun thing because the friends she was there with, they wanted to get this for her as a gift. So it ended up being a gift for Debbie but I am adding a monarch butterfly. I said I'll just take it home with me and add the butterfly and then I'll ship it to you. So here we are adding the butterfly. Now I use a mall stick. This hooks over the top of my easel and my hand rests on it and this helps steady my hand to do the fine detail. So I'm going to start painting our little monarch butterfly. He's going to be coming down to this blossom and Start his, start his wings in here. Now this wing is going to be catching more sunlight. And then this wing, we see more of the underside of it. So it's a little bit darker. You may hear Sissy crying in the background. I just picked the girls up from the vet this morning. I just got back from Santa Fe late yesterday and so I picked the girls up this morning and they always do this when I come home. They walk around crying and want lots and lots of attention which I'm sure any of you that have fur babies understand exactly what what's happening here. So you all hear her kind of crying in the background. She just wants mama to give her some more attention. Now I need to lighten this up just a little bit. This is a mixture of orange, my cadmium orange, which I make with two parts of cadmium yellow medium and one part of cadmium red light. And then I've added just a little bit of my mud into that. And the mud is alizarin crimson, uh, one part alizarin crimson and two parts ultimately blue. So let's go ahead and get that quite light enough. So the sun's really hitting this wing here. We want it, want it brighter. There we go. I've got a little hump in my paint there from the step. Let's see if I can just kind of smooth that down with my painting knife just a little bit. Now I'm going to, got that, now I'm going to clean my brush out in my thinner and I'm going to just wipe that off. That paint underneath is dry so I can just wipe this off of here and I'll redo that and make it a little bit smoother. Okay. Got that. Let me just do one little more swipe to kind of make sure that it's not just real wet there with the thinner. Okay. Sissy, it's okay, girl. You're home. You're home. It's okay. I'm here. I know you get back there. She gets back in the back of the house and gets lost and gets scared. So but here we are putting this lighter. And then the sun's kind of shining through the wing down here. We'll make that a little bit lighter. And I wipe my brush quite a bit. You'll see that I wipe it with tissue. And this helps to keep my paint clean on my canvas. So this is... That sun's kind of shining through that wing. 
Now, his body, the body of the monarch, is black, so I'm using ivory black. Just right here, his body, and then the rest of his body goes gone back behind that wing. I'll get my little bitty eyeliner brush. There it is. This is a real fine little brush. This is what I'm going to use to put the, the detail on here. I'm just going to brace against the, the canvas. I don't, don't I think that's out of the frame, but I'm just resting the fingers of my left hand against the frame of the canvas and then I can make this detail here. There's dark on this. And I have my reference material for my monarch butterfly on my laptop and it's on the cabaret next to my easel. So I'm looking at that as I'm, as I'm working here. And this wing comes up like so. This bottom wing is dark red here. Now I'm going to make him just a little bit wider right in here. And then I'll come back and add the dark in his wing. That sun's really hitting him there. Now, the sun kind of comes through this bottom wing and just lightens this a little bit. Now I'm going to add the little striations in his wing. to the dark in here. A little bit of white in the tips of in this black. It's got white dots. We won't be able to put them all in because he's so small. But we'll get some of them. In. Smooth that edge just a little bit. And this tip of this wing is a little not quite as round as I've got it here. smooth that top edge. Well, actually what I need to do is that comes got hair, loose hair there. Okay, what we're going to do is come here. This comes 
out just a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to make the white spots on here. Now on this side they're in shadow, so they're not going to be quite as bright as they're going to be on that other wing. Let's just go ahead and make. And again, I can't get all of the spots that are in there, but we'll get enough in here that this is definitely a monarch butterfly. And now the other wing, the spots are going to be white. The color that I used for the spots on this wing is white plus a little bit of ultramarine blue plus a little bit of my orange. And that just grays that white. Now here we're going to have pure white for our spots. That one to stick. And they've got a couple of spots right here. And there'll be some dark along that top edge of the wing. And this back edge of the wing is also going to have a little bit more dark on it. And this wing. Butterfly comes up just a little bit over the right in here. Now, I can get real, real fine with my brush. We'll make his legs. Because he's kind of just flying up to this flower. I don't like those legs in there. I think he's going to have his legs tucked up to his body. I think that's going to look better. Sometimes you just have to kind of try something, and if it doesn't work, then you take it out. And I'm just lifting that off with a little bit of thinner, with my brush dipped in thinner. And then I wipe it out. And then I can just lift that off because that paint underneath is wet. I mean, the paint underneath is not wet, it's dry. <laughs> so I can lift it off, lift this off. There we go. Mm. I think I am going to have to put a little leg in there. It just looks funny without it. So I need to go ahead and front edge of this. And then we'll just do a little bit of a legs in there, but not quite as much as we had. There we go. And there is our butterfly, our monarch butterfly. I appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. I also have a blog. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my YouTube video. And I really appreciate you, just all of your comments and questions. I thank you very, very much. And you have a wonderful, wonderful day.